Today's video is brought to you by Big J's Fart Spray, the logger's choice. Hey folks, logger John here, and uh, there's my Massey sitting there. I'm back at cutting some more wood here. It's a uh, uh, Thursday, December the 23rd, a couple days left of Christmas, and I'm back here cutting some more ash that are dying. Got some small ones along here to cut. It's about minus 14 Celsius right now, so it's a little chilly. The sun is kind of out, but it's kind of clouding over. It's supposed to cloud over later today, and Get a bit of snow maybe. So, okay. My house is just right up here. Uh, I cut the wood the other day on the video just up here on the ridge. So I'm down here now. I had to drive through the field here. Come down through here. And there's a gate just down here. And I got a couple small ash here. The cut. And a few bigger ones that are starting to die. And if you have time, we got a black cherry down there that uh, the top blew off in the windstorm. So I'm going to try to get that maybe. The only problem with down here uh, used to be an old fence line. The old fence line used to run right through here and down through there. It's probably barbed wire. So these trees have wire in them. Well, you can see the wire right there. See it right there, growing right into the trees. So gotta be careful, I guess. And uh, there's a few along here. I think with wire in them, I'm gonna have to be careful. Okay, guys. Just a small ash. Had to be careful. We got a, <laughs> we have a fence right there, so it just touched the fence. I was kind of worried about it. Okay, what I'm going to do is uh, swing this one up in there, pull it up ahead, and then cut the next one so I can bring them out at the same time. We got that one. I just pulled it up to there. And now there's this one. It's got the wire in it, so just gotta be careful. Actually, I thought maybe it was barbed wire they had here, but that's page wire or something, I guess. Okay, guys, stay tuned. <laughs> Didn't hit any wire, but this one touched the fence too. Just brushed the fence. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. So we got those two, and then there's a couple here, right here. It's got wire in it too. It's a bit bigger. It's not going to hit the fence though, but it's kind of into that hickory right there. Don't want to damage the hickory too much. Okay guys, I got those straightened out pretty good. Only problem I'm going to have is I got a really tight corner to make and go through the gate right over there. It's going to be tight. Okay, now what? Okay, we got a few more. Hmm. Yeah. This big guy here, I guess. It's got wire in it for sure. <laughs> Thank you. 
That was interesting. Look at that, eh? That was getting a little sketchy there. <laughs> I knew it was a bit rotten in the bottom, but... I was cutting there. I wasn't cutting very long. Did you hear the tree cracking? My first thought was that it was going to a barber chair and explode on me here, but I kept cutting. Anyway, it's on the ground, but you can see the barbed wire. There's a piece of barbed wire right there. And then one right here, a piece of wire. I think I'll have to cut it up here, but I'll bring the whole thing out to the wood pile and see. Oh, it didn't. It's about, uh, oh, five feet from the fence up there. <laughs> They're a lot taller than you think. So they are. Okay guys, I got that one straightened out there. My battery, <clears throat> my battery's dying here because of the cold. I'm gonna have to go up to the house and get another battery. Hope there's enough. I'm gonna cut this one now. I'm gonna try to put it out there. Okay, I'll set you guys up. Hopefully my battery lasts for a few more minutes. Well, that kind of worked. I used the front pinch cut on that, but which was fine. It worked, but now it's kind of hung up over there. But I have to push on it or something. Okay, guys, stay tuned. Cause it was leaning back pretty good, so didn't want to go up there and smash all the little maple trees. So and I got this one here. Okay, stay tuned. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm back here. I skidded that one tree out and I got myself another battery. Now I'm back here to get these two. This one kind of got hung up just before my battery was dying there, so. No issue, I'll just pull it down and then I'll hook onto that one too at the same time. Take them out and then I got another one over there to cut. And then I'm going to go down there and look at that uh, that black cherry that broke off.
Okay guys, I'm back here. I just get at those other two just up there for now. I'm gonna cut this one. A bit of issues at the bottom here. I don't think it's hollow, but it's a little bit rotten, so I gotta be careful. Well, folks, that was rotten too. <laughs> really rotten and I think the fence was into this tree too I'm not sure but I'm not sure kind of looks like there might be a wire right there but I'll have to investigate better okay guys stay tuned I'm gonna get those other two trees out and come back and get this one uh, like I said, there's a few more here maybe, but i save those for another day. There's one right here and right over there. Might be fun to try to get out of here. I think I can back up right here. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Got a lot of nice little maple trees in here. That I don't want to smash if I can help it. Since they're going to replace all the ash. <laughs> Okay folks, I'm down here at this uh, black cherry, right here, you can see where the top kind of broke off in the windstorm. I don't know how much firewood that's going to be in this, but i got to clean it up anyway, get a little bit of firewood. The only issue is, I have some spruce trees planted here so one there and there and a little one here and this one here unfortunately as you can see <coughs> that a buck really liked this tree I guess because he rubbed all the bark off it and And it's probably not going to survive, so I'm going to try if I can put that, put it over here maybe, I don't know. Okay guys, we got the top cleaned up here. Now I got to get in there, see if I can, I might put a wedge in it. You have all this uh, buckthorn in the way here, but... Well, folks, it's kind of on the ground. <laughs> yeah, I brought the wedge with me. I thought maybe I could wedge it, but 
Well, it didn't hit any of the spruce. You got a little spruce tree here. Just got to kind of get these limbs off here, and I, sh I should be able to pull it pull it out of here. Okay, got her out of there, didn't uh, damage any trees, I'm going to take it out to the wood pile here and I'll see you, out, see you guys out at the wood pile. Okay guys, it is lunch time and uh, here's my dog, hey, come here. What are you doing? Hey, is it lunch time? Yeah, it's lunch time. Well, it's not too bad. I got uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven trees out. Still more to do. I think I'll cut this up after lunch and I got some things to do this later this afternoon, I guess. A nice day it's about minus 10 right now so the weather here has been up and down like a seesaw warm one day and cold the next still not much snow as you can see okay guys thanks a lot for watching and uh, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already I sure do appreciate all the comments and uh, appreciate you guys watching. Take care.